Welcome to another one of Niblet's reviews. Um, not entirely sure if I'm going to get a review done today with the amount of hackers around. It's really quite insane. Um, PP19 mod is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to take the P90TR as a comparison. We've got Halloween Skull Recon Vest gives me my 20% speed boost. Got this out from Bingo Board. It's an NX variant with PP19. You get Dot Sight and Silencer for your cash. So we're going to go into a wave rider. Uh, Round start. Uh, it looks like we're getting shot in our base, which means our team's probably getting owned. Uh, that scores aren't too bad currently. We'll see what's going on. Um, so anyway, key stats of the gun: 35 damage, reasonably respectable. It's the same as the P90 TR. Uh, portability is 80, very good, very high, 7 more than a P90, um, rate of fire is exactly the same at 82, uh, accuracy is 70, so that's 3 more than a P90, um, it's also got 3 more recoil, which means it's got slightly more recoil than a P90. Um, let's see if this person's chasing, probably gone up this way, oh, yeah he did, he died. Anyway, um, it's a highly portable gun. It looks really good. I like, I like the looks of this gun. I think that little dot sight really quite suits it. it. It does sit up quite high and proud, but um, I do like it. I, I like the size of the clip as well. When other people are running out of um, ammo, you just keep on coming. Um, so we're big fan of this gun as you can probably tell uh, Red 4 82 actually 70 recall 75 damage over time is uh, 28.7 which is exactly the same as a P90 P90 TR um, so I mean the little dot sight is really quite useful sometimes um, not sure it really reduces recoil or anything but uh, I quite like using it um yeah I, I really like this gun uh, I do hear people complain about the PP19 mod in that you end up with a bit of a random uh, spray pan um, which isn't actually that helpful uh, P90 is regarded as a bit of a headshot machine and uh, people don't really mind the spread on that because it actually helps. Now, I don't think you're going to get as many headshots but I definitely don't think the spread pattern on this is detrimental. Um, you're going to be getting in close with that nice high 80 uh, portability. Um, it's got a pretty good, uh, well it's got, yeah it's got a good rate of fire and it's got reasonable damage. So you're going to kill people nice and quickly. Okay, four-way recall test. Uh, I've got P90 TR, PP19 mod, UMP, MP7. It's just to try and give you a little bit of an idea about how the different how the guns uh, work recall-wise. Uh, PP19 seems to have slightly more than the uh, P90 TR. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit about the. I mean, it's, it's accurate enough. I mean, the recall isn't anything you can't control. It's uh, pretty good for building up good accolades, as you can see, just because of the clip size. Would you like to do a clan war? Um, so, oh, fantastic there. Um, if we look at some of the other variants, uh, PP19 has exactly the same um, stats. Uh, PP19 camo's got two extra damage, and the mod camo's got two extra damage and two less recoil, um, and a sexy paint job. <laughs> you also have um, what's got to be one of my favourite guns in the game um, is the PP-19 Scorpions mod. The gun is an epic uh, weapon, quite literally, uh, that's what it's called, but it's epic in every sense of the word. I 
I think that thing may actually be more accurate with the dot sight uh, than a SOT mod. It is just crazy, crazy gun. Um, anyway, we're, we're doing pretty well with this gun, to be honest. Um, as I said, that, that magazine is a really nice feature. The uh, reason why it gets compared a lot to the uh, P90TR a fair bit is uh, P90 has also got quite a large magazine size but it's down by 15 on this. It's only up at, uh, only up at uh, 50. Uh, we're actually running out of bullets here so we're going to have to swap to the P90. Um, now, even though they've got the same rate of fire, I always think the P90 fires slightly faster. Don't know why. It just just seems that way to me. Um, anyway, both very good guns. Uh, really like the looks of the PP19 mod. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, big fan of the gun. I like the uh, I like the looks. The the speed in which you run around is really quite nice. Um, clip size damage, yeah, yeah, it's just a really good gun. Um, I mean, if you're making a balance between the difference between these two, uh, which one should you get? Very difficult to, very difficult to say, really. Um, it seems to me that the the P90 isn't quite as good over the. Now, people might argue this is just a point of view not quite as good over uh, medium distance as the PP19 mod um, but I would argue that the P90 has a, has a more helpful spread pattern for getting headshots um, you won't see, well I don't see a lot with the PP19 anyway um, I really enjoy using this gun um, it's really nice, it's good for your KD um, and I always say, you know, game's about having fun, and you're going to have a lot of fun killing people with this. Uh, so, anyway, um, you've also got, I think I've gone through PP19, uh, camo to extra damage, mod camo to extra damage to less recoil. Haven't got a lot more to say, to be honest. Um, oh, I'll... I'll what you will have noticed earlier on in the video is I should have edited in um, a four-way recoil test. Uh, just as, just in case that you can't see that, I'm going to do a recoil test with the PP19 mod and P90TR here. Mouse held still as usual. Um, you can see it gets a reasonable amount of time. But it's fairly concentrated when it gets to the top of the arc. Um, P90 TR um, pulls left and right, a little bit of a straighter line. Um, I always think that's across the eye line, to be honest. Um, you don't get an integrated sight with a P90. Uh, I, I personally, very hard to call between the two guns. That they require two different styles. Uh, I reckon that the PP19 probably takes more skill to play with. Um, I don't know. I just, I, it's just a, just a, just a feeling. Um, <laughs> I've almost doubled the amount of times I've died there. Anyway, we're on uh, thirty uh, to seven at the moment, which is quite nice. I'm gonna run around a little bit more and see if we can uh, kill a few more people. see there the you know when other people run out of ammo you're still going um, it's a really handy feature uh, coming towards the end of the game um, 13 kills to go Round start.
Oh, by the way, there's a there's a, a forum uh, in sorry a, a, a topic in the events part of the forum. Combat Arms EU. Uh, I'm in order to kind of promote my reviews, etc. I'm just running a uh, an NX pistol to whoever manages to get the first two numbers out of the UK lotto. Um, so you know, post your numbers up there. Ranges are, uh, you know, the range is one to forty-nine. So it's the first two numbers out. So it could be like you know, twenty-seven and three. Anyway, coming towards the end of the game. Love the PP nineteen mods. Um, you know, it's well worth a try. Uh, I, you know, I think it'd be a good gun to have permanent if you haven't got a permanent SMG already. Uh, yeah, yeah, just just decent weapon. Um, really like it. So anyway, as per usual, thanks for watching, listening, and uh, you know, good luck in the in the event.